What's up guys, welcome to your, uh, let's see, fifth WX tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over some more ways to get input from a user. So, let's go ahead and get started, and the first thing, unlike last time where they just checked the box, you're going to have times where you need them to enter a little bit of text like their name, or birthday, or something like that. So for this, the easiest way is a little dialog box with a little text box, so they can enter it and type OK. So to do this, go ahead and create an object. I'm going to name mine box. Feel free to name yours whatever. And you need to write wx dot text entry dialog. And what this gives you is a um, little dialog box where you can type text in. Now pay attention to the parameters on this because they're important. The first one is the parent, and the second one is the question or prompt you're going to ask them. So be like, what's your name? What's your name? Make a little question mark there. Now the third parameter is the title of the box. So I'll just write a uh, title. And the fourth parameter, this is the one that's uh, different to this one. This is the default text um, for your text box. So default text. This is what answer is going to show up before they even start typing anything. So those are your four parameters that you need to know for a text entry dialog. Now after this, you do something a little different than you did before. So pay attention to this as well. What you want to do is when you create this text box, it's going to show OK and cancel at the bottom. Now if they want, if they hit OK, then you're going to want to store whatever they typed. But if they hit cancel, you're not going to want to store whatever they type because they canceled away from it for whatever reason. Maybe their cat was meowing or the baby was crying or something. So you want to write, if they clicked OK, then store the answer. So here's how you do that. If box dot show modal or model, I don't even know how to say it. If someone knows how, please type it in the comments and let me know. WX dot ID underscore OK and under your if actually you probably need one of these and by probably I mean you do Res uh, let's go ahead and put a variable called like answer or something since it's going to store the answer box dot um, get value there we go so let me show you guys uh, how this works and then we'll move on it says what is your name again move this to the side this the parent parameter doesn't show up this first parameter which is second parameter actually is the question the third one is the title and the fourth one is the default text so you can type whatever you want in right there press ok it stores press cancel it doesn't store and that's for my last tutorial so um you guys should know how this works let me show you guys uh... how this works what this does is this show modal it its value is whatever you click so its value is either going to be ok or cancel so you're going to say alright if this value when you click a button is equal to ok and only to ok then i want to store that variable whatever they typed in if it's equal to cancel then you can just forget about it then I don't want to store it. So um, that's how you store um, a piece of text using WX Python. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a list, like um, not like a checkbox, but just like a list, pretty much. And it's going to be awesome. So don't forget to check out my next tutorial, and I will see you then.